It's a story from... <laughs> that's too long. It's a story from 2008, the year I was working at the Guggenheim Museum, New York. And my job was selling tickets downstairs, um, Monday to Friday, every week, for almost a year. And I graduated at Hunter College MFA program in New York. After you graduate the program MFA, all, everyone is the same. Everyone wants to become a professional artist, but normally no one can, only 1% people can achieve their dream. So I couldn't, so I'm not. I was selling ticket at the museum. So when I was working at the museum, I always wondering, how can I be a, a professional or a big artist one day? So one day I was sitting there and I started to making a joke, which I will write down my name and my solo expression, which I imagine at the Guggenheim. And I will give to my coworker or sometimes give to someone else just to imagine I have a solo show over there. And one day I was like, okay, if this is my dream, can I use the tickets as my artwork, I mean, part become a part of my work. So I had a proposal to the museum and they say, okay, and I can, they can sponsor me to use the ticket. So I start using the ticket to make it work. So this work, as you see, it's called Guggen Dizzy. It's also indicate the dream I had when I was in the, when I, while I was working in the Guggenheim. Well, I really like to join. I, I really like drawing. So this is back to uh, when I was my undergraduate. I draw a lot of time. I draw on the paper. And then my grandmother and my mother, they are also non-professional Chinese painter. So, you know, Chinese painting, you draw on the rice paper. So, however, I always interesting about paper. So I start, when I get the tickets, it's really interesting medium which is a thousand ticket joined together, the, the, front, the front joined together and the, the, the bottom joined together, it's like this. So uh, one, st one stock is about 1,000 tickets. So when I brought back, I look at it, I think it's really interesting because when you uh, put on the table, you can see a little bit of light reflecting to the, the print, the, or the original print. So the original print will kind of have a reflect shadows on the other side. So it was really, um, I, I think the effect is really good. So I start to taping, I start to do the drawing first, which I always do. So I have drawing at home first to imagine this. And the drawing I will scan to the computer and then to divide it using uh, Illustrator to make a kind of like a, I would say it's kind of like a ruler, kind of like a, I don't really know how to say it, like a mega grain, kind of like, and then I will divide it to the, to the, to the, the size of the ticket. Like I want to make a, for example, I, if I want to make a 100, 180, and so I count the exactly number of the ticket. So I will scan the drawings and enlarge to the size and I will print out each one. So I will follow the, the computer print and I just kind of like the sketch. So I will put there and I will see which part it's red, which part it's blue, which part it's green. So um, this is basically the process of the work. And also everything, what I'm saying is everything goes back to the drawing. I was saying, I still like to draw and I still, they are like a canvas and the ticket, ticket become canvas and the tape becomes my brushes. So I'm making drawing, I'm making a drawing with, with a dream, I guess.